be pretty much the best reason to run a Smash tournament, especially when we're all stuck at home and have nothing else to do. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Reggie. Oh, no, I was agreeing with you for that one. It's definitely some of the best reasons to, like, just go out. If you're staying at home, support the stream. All right. And support Black Lives Matter by just donating. But we should talk about this match. I'm not familiar with these players here. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm just trying to pull their pool up real quick yeah. and see what their path to get here was. But uh, Shaw and Dogs are their tags in the game. So yeah. um, Shaw, uh, being it's Shaw, Shaw and Wild Dogs. Okay. All right, so Paulo Tana and Inkling, two pretty meta characters. Paulo Tana a lot more common, though. She's kind of got that pick up and play factor. So, um, you know, a lot of players either pocket her or yeah. just decided to stick with her from the beginning because she was a good character to approach the new game with. Yeah, and Inkling was one of those characters that was really heavily played in the beginning, but now it's fallen off because it's one of the characters that ended up being tougher to kill. Still having great movement, lacking the kill power, but that bear, really safe. We're going to be seeing a lot of that in the map. Of We're also going to be seeing a lot of these grab combos from Inkling. Of course, that up throw is so reliably combos for like a ridiculous range of percents. Um, oh, and down throw can do it too. It's just if you DI it, it's much harder to link. Oh, the sick landing punish though. Yeah, but they didn't get the follow up right there. Nice math out. Yeah, Ball. if they're below. Uh, 100 especially, but 125 is the real cutoff. You can generally get out, avoid death from a smash attack if you mash really fast. Oh, and oh. Shaw looking for the hoo-ha, the up throw up air. Yeah. Uh, actually, don't they call it booyah because of a... Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. We can just pretend the up throw up air connected. Yeah, let, let's pretend. All right, so sick usage of the booyah and knowing the percent <laughs> range for Shaw right there. Um, Wild Dogs, unfortunately, going to lose the stock there, but still in it, even though the odds are super difficult. Palutena is a very momentum-based character. You can kind of start putting people in the mixer and make a comeback like this. She's got the safe approach tools for it, too. Yeah, and we're supposed to play him all three. All stage. And are we going to see him go off? No, we don't. He needs to make something, come, make something like, make a big play to come back on. Yeah, I think we need to see something like an air dodge read, back air or up air kill this stock off then just like you know open up really strong on the next stock and then we could see the potential comeback so far though Shaw is looking on point just using these safe pokes back air one of the best pressure tools in the game and Palutena her out of shield game is not too great that's one of her few weaknesses yeah Ooh. oh ah. didn't, yeah it wasn't close enough for that board smash would have connected from that range and with the tip too so I was looking for that but uh, either way wild dog is going to finally take a stock here we could see this happen. I've seen crazier stuff in Smash, but so far, uh, it looks like Wild Dog should be thinking about the counterpick for next game. Just seeing some of the key things in Shaw's gameplay with the remaining lifespan you have, and just uh, figuring out how you're going to exploit that and condition for those options in the next game. Yeah, just got to figure out the opponent's habits. And that's how you can come back from start. To figure out a little bit of doing wrong. And that bear is not safe. That's it is fair. not. That's and Alp Smash is insane out of shield. It's got a great scooping hitbox. It's very fast to come out. I want to say, uh, if I had a guess, it would be maybe 12 or 13 frames. Um, and yeah, it kills devastatingly early. Like, stronger than wolves for sure. And if they have ink on them, it's one of the strongest in the game. Yeah, that's definitely crazy. I'm checking that right now. What for, yeah. like, no, I, got, I, I got you, I got you. It is, it's nine. Jesus, I was gonna say uh, I'm. I think I'm being a little generous <laughs> to yeah. Inkling, giving them too much credit, saying 12 or 13. But I didn't want to say like a single-digit number and be wrong. It does feel kind of like nine, bro. I feel like I'm locked up in that one frame slower. That's that's really crazy. Fox is eight. I didn't even know that. I'm pretty sure Fox is eight. It might be nine in this game. I'm looking right now. Yeah, up is eight. Okay. Yeah, so just some of the highlights from that game. You know, you see just how safe Shaw was pretty much the whole time. And then only went for guaranteed punishes like up smash out of shield on the unsafe down air. And that was enough to take it home. I wonder what Wild Dogs is going to do to adapt here, though. I think um, just a lot more back airs. It's very difficult for Inkling to outpoke that move. Um, and maybe less reliance on the projectiles. But I didn't see him use them too much. It's just that Inkling is really good at getting around them. Yeah. 
we probably should see a bit more auto right auto right click to catch in the inkling while dashing because they can dash under explosive point if i remember correctly uh yeah that initial dash is just like such a get out of jail free card sometimes especially against tall characters like Palutena. you know um yeah. even though her back air hits at a nice low angle it makes them have to wait extra long to throw the back air out and actually connect with Thinkling. So you can stuff that on startup if you're ready for it. Yeah. Just adds another layer to the whole like aerial pressure game and how you can fight it. So far though, it's looking like Wild Dogs, man. He's on fire. 50 out the gate. But nothing Inkling can't make up for very quickly. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see another throw combo. Oh, he's catching them right there. Yeah, that back throw explosive flame in those mid percents just lines up so nicely. And you see the two frame and down tilt, one of the easiest moves to land that for. Um, and Inkling, you know, she doesn't like poke through the stage like Lucina with her up B or anything. So you can pretty safely go for that, even though it's really difficult to two frame Inkling. Yeah, and there's no initial hitbox on the rising. Only when they land, right. they get like a quad. All right, Shaw throwing out a splat bomb. One of the best moves in the entire game, honestly. Um, but I feel like Inkling players haven't quite explored it too much. Either way, it's going to be Wild Dogs taking the first dock. Looking like a completely new player in this game. Yeah, I would assume they just switched the way it seems right now. Because it's like night and day on what's going on. Yeah, also the stage working out pretty well so far for Wild Dogs. It's just a nice big open platform for uh, Palutena to set her zoning tools up and force the approach. She doesn't have the fastest moves on startup. Shaking pressure is hard for her, and here she has plenty of room to just retreat instead. Yeah, Kalos being the biggest stage we have in legal play will definitely help follow out, especially since Inkling does struggle go without roller. Yeah, if you're not landing the up throw up airs or like a cheesy berry into smash, this character does take a while to get the stock off. Down tilt, yeah, just a little too early. Wild Dogs just uh, maybe uh, a little anxious to get that. Just wants to take the two stock lead here, but he's fine. He's chilling. He can afford to miss a couple two frames. Yeah, just sitting comfortably. I like 92%. Oh, almost got the two frame with the bomb. Yeah, it has so many utilities, man. Edge guarding setups on stage. Doesn't matter, but either way, Wild Dogs saying, I don't even care. You could paint the stage as much as you want, bro. I'm going hard in the paint. Yeah, it definitely is. But just basically looking like on the verge of a three stock. Or I'm, right. I might just be calling a bit too soon. Let's see. Shock could come alive. Show some of that brilliance from the first game. All that momentum, those throw combos. Just need to get the fresh stock so your confirms start working again. Oh, the tech chase roller not gonna pay off there. Shaw still struggling to get the stock. 109, like, I think Polly was safe from the up throw up air. Splat bomb tanking yeah. auto reticle. Wow. Yeah. I did that not was know that was a thing. I feel like I may have seen that before and just not noticed it, but that's really useful for inkling in this matchup. Yeah. It provides like a free, free dashing while she's in that animation. You see the weakness Inkling has in this matchup really exacerbated when Apollo has a lead like this. It's very difficult to get in against her amazing anti-approach tools, her bigger, better buttons. And it's so much struggling going on. There's a pretty good angle on the splat bomb there, trying to cover the neutral getup. Wild Dog's still able to slip by. Shaw really in a painful situation here. We can see up air, probably the next one, or maybe if he's just a little yeah. higher up, uh, definitely kill. Yeah, certainly the next up there would kill right there. That, even that explosive flame would have got silk stock. So, one major move will be death. And there it is. Wow, a three stock to respond. Wild dogs. That adaptation was crazy. Uh, yeah. I think just having uh, a nice big open stage helped. I mean, they played on FD game one, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, so I, I don't think Kalos is like that much radically better for Palutena or worse for Inkling or anything. It does make it harder for Inkling to kill, but we didn't even really see much of the gameplay happen at kill percent for Palu. Uh, it just seems like Mad Dog just woke up. Like, like oh, after he lost game one, it was like, okay, I need, I need to get a bit serious here. Who let Wild Dogs out? <laughs> I, I missed that song. 
That's a question I've been trying to answer for like 20 years. Okay, going into the final game of the set here, though, um, what do you think we're going to see in terms of a counter pick? I mean, maybe something smaller with platforms? I think we might definitely see something smaller. I'm expecting like a Smashville or a Yoshi's in that sense. Yeah, same. Inkling is just really good on the triplats. Like, if you miss your up throw up air or just your up throw combos in general, you get to just land, reset. Um, yeah, we, so we might even see Battlefield in that case. Right, yeah, if Yoshi's is off the table but not Battlefield, I wouldn't be surprised. But then Nashville is also a really good pick. So yeah, I'm going with one of those three for sure. Yeah, safe bets, safe bets. Yeah, of course, you know, three of the, what, six, seven legal stages, uh, <laughs> not really speaking much insight here, but... Um, yeah, I, I do think that we're going to see the playing field shrink. And um, I, in order to win, I think Inkling just has to utilize movement more, um, both vertically and horizontally, right? You want to yeah. sometimes get on top for make her whiff the back air and then land with your own back air on the whiff. But it's going to be FD, where Shaw did super well game one. So, um, you know, this is still on the table as a counter pick due to the stage clause rules. So yeah, no, we're going to see if uh, this pays off again. Yeah, no DSR at this tournament. So, this was a choice on the board. Wow, splatter shot into jab. Just caught slipping for a second. Wild Dog's taking a ton of damage and getting inked up. And yeah. again, now completely covered. So much extra damage is going to come from this. Yeah, I didn't even not know if that was a good. Looking really good. Wow, this splat bomb set play. I'm liking Shaw so far in this game. Yeah, I actually thought that was going to two frame. And... <gasps> Yeah, SD. Oh my god. Tanner's curse to the extreme. I'm so sorry, Shaw. I didn't mean to do it. Before it jinx, man. Oh, and getting stuck in the roller without the jump out of it makes it so much laggier, but it doesn't matter. Shaw just gonna wow, not even a wave land out, just stops the roller. And the yeah. taunt? Yo! Yeah, you gotta hype yourself up, Max. Yeah, absolutely. It's the only way uh after a devastating SD like that. Yeah. Or it, you know, it's one of the ways. Down throw, but no double nair. Okay. Oh, but missing and missing the throw combo. Yeah, you can get nair into a second aerial, but sometimes it's just so much easier to land up throw up air, even at the low percents. Take what is given to you, take the guaranteed hit, and try for a reset. Yeah. Ooh. The raw berry, smart by Shaw, not looking for something out of the ground because the percent was not very high. Yeah. Okay. Back to the full screen neutral, and Mad Dog's just gonna play his game. Oh man, buried again. Forward smash despite a pretty middling percent right there. I think he definitely could have gotten away from that if he mashed harder. Yeah, he definitely would have. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, the, the mash is lacking there. <laughs> Yo, Shaw is back online. Down throw bear not gonna go through, but the air dodge was not the answer out of disadvantage. And now we have an even game here, even set. Who's gonna take it and move forward, man? These two are both showing like insane momentum when they have it, but um, it's hard for them to stop each other. Yeah, they, once one gets a blow, they just take it for a full ride. And there we go, all the tennis nares. I like the reset there, fake the jump, and then just return to the ground and catch the next option. Yeah, really advanced play right there. Shaw's turn though with some stage control. Nope, gonna swing first and get punished. Palutena is so good at answering back. Even if she's not the quickest to the punch, her moves are so big and have pretty generous hitboxes that you can just, you know, swing back at them. Um, but like second. And now we see this wall. Oh, but the dash jab. This, see, that's why, like, you know, even though Palutena's bear is so safe, she has to wait a while to wind up another one and fast fall into the ground. Being a slow, or a quick and short, slippery guy like Inkling, you can get in there and whip punish it. Yeah. Oh, he's coming down with that. But nice smash out right there. Wow, Shaw just retreating, not even winning neutral uh, to get the extra ink charge. Just knows how important it is to have access to Splat Bomb, Roller, make your smash stronger too. Yeah, and also, like, stuff like forward throw, in case it's needed. Oh, the wave land away from the punish on that roller. Looks like Wild Dog just wasn't ready for it. Oh man, this is anyone's game. It's so tense right now. 
these guys both impressive yeah. too, especially again for players that we aren't like aware of by name. Uh, love seeing them do well at tournaments like this. And apologies, you know, if you're like a well-known ranked player in your region. Um, either way, I, I'm still happy to see you killing it out here. Oh no! Oh my god! And that's it. Oh, Shaw coming in clutch. Just waited for the impatience from Wild Dogs, and uh, yeah, just gonna take the simple punish. Man, the desperation to end the game with yeah. uh, with that forward smash. It would have probably killed too, because that's such a strong move. Yeah, that forward smash is like one of her strongest. Or actually, is it her strongest master attack? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely kill the cross stage. And yeah, you just see how dangerous Splat, uh, Splat Bomb is at the edge. Oh, and the SD. I'm watching the the highlights on the stream, yeah. so I'm a little bit behind saying everything I'm talking about. But man, uh, there were definitely some unfortunate breaks for both players in this set. But ultimately, Shaw just keeping his head on straight and going to walk forward into a, a deeper round of the bracket here. Yeah. Okay. okay.